Hey everybody, you know it's the Joe Jaguar show. So today, she's uh, coming uh, to my place for the weekend. And the reason why we're starting the intro here is because I have to show her my 12 inch as soon as she walks in. So she has never seen a 12 inch at all. So uh, the biggest she's ever used is a eight inch. You know, so um, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, we'll see you guys in like one minute when we get inside. Okay. <laughs> okay, babe, hey. come in. Okay, and there you go. Uh, what do you think? Big. <laughs> Huge. Okay. Okay, Angelus. So tell me, what do you really think of Joe's telescopes? Be honest, I won't show him this video. <laughs> Maybe. Well, I believe that you really love them and have the passion for the astronomy. And also, I see you like a, a guy that likes to, to make an investment in, in telescopes. <laughs> like a jewelry or maybe like a telescope uh, like a fetish shoe how they call it Fe fetish, fe fetish a fetish a fetish i have a fetish but with telescopes <laughs> okay it's amazing so then are you worried that he's in love with his telescopes more than you nah yeah? no 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 well, i think it's this separate i, I won't ever compare with a with that object and also, I will never want that you kill that passion because this is also something that I love from you and you have your passions. I said, so we have to respect our passions. Okay, don't worry. I won't show him these clips. Okay. Okay, guys. So let me talk, talk to you guys about this telescope. I think I've had it for about 14 years now. It is, yeah, I'm pretty sure 14 years. Um, this is the Mead LX90 GPS. This is a Schmidt Cassegrain F10. It's a pretty big scope. Now, as you saw by the intro, uh, I showed Angelus um, the first time the 12 inch and uh, she was blown away. In fact, she's not here with me right now because she fainted and she's on the floor over there. So I'll just continue and telling uh, you a little bit about this guy. Um, so as far, it is a go-to telescope. So it means it goes to whatever you want to find it once you input, um, you know, whatever you want to see first. And you have to do the alignment first. Now, I find that the fork-mounted uh, go-to is much easier, much better uh, than the uh, German Equatorial go-to. Um, but of course, the German Equatorial go-to is more for astrophotography, sure. But I just find it's just much, much simpler uh, on, a, uh, on these type, the fork mounted ones. Anyway, so uh, before this guy, I had the Mead LX200 14 inch. And that was just, you know, you probably don't think, ah, two inches is a big deal. But because the LX200 is almost 50% heavier, two inches plus the 50% heavier because it has bigger, uh, fork arms and base and stuff like that you couldn't do it one person could not do it alone it, a two-person uh, thing so I actually sold it and uh, then I got this guy so uh, the LX200 is more uh, has more like electronics type of thing uh, so the LX90 is the mid version of the mead uh, what they call like the electronics type of thing so the LX10 or the LX50 was like the entry level the LX90 is like the little bit better version that has a little bit more advanced. And then the uh, real advanced one, it's just as far as, uh, you know, having thicker arms, um, more in the database, uh, the LX200 is just more electronics, basically, uh, a little bit more better and beefier. Um, anyway, so I got this guy um, and I really like it. In 14 years, has never died. Um, and you know what? Probably a lot of you guys um, probably are, will be surprised to, to hear 
that um, I have only used it with the batteries that goes into the base here. Never used a power tank at all. It never died. The go-to only messed up once that I can remember. Uh, pretty sure every other time the GPS was dead on, the go-to is dead on. So very, very re re reliable scope. And it's pretty much at the limit what I would say uh, a one person could handle. Now I'm only 5'6", maybe with my hair sticking up a little, 5'7", uh, or so, uh, I'm only like 155 pounds, so I'm not a huge guy by any means. I'm somewhat fit, but um, it comes only in two pieces. Basically, um, the fork arms, the base, and the tube itself is all one piece, and it's just a tripod. So it is only a two-step process, uh, but it is fairly heavy. Uh, if you're going long distances, Probably not, but you know, to go 20, 30, 40 feet is not a problem. That's what I usually do. Um, so I normally use this guy. If I go up north and I have a lot of space, then this is what I would prefer. A 12 inch just collects a lot more than like an eight inch uh, or even quite a bit more than the 10 inch. So a 12 inch I consider to be the perfect well, not really portable, but at the limit of uh, what portability would be, but still big enough that you can collect a lot of light to see the deep sky stuff, the galaxies, the nebulas, the globular clusters, the clusters and all that stuff. Um, so I really like it. Like I said, I think it only uh, misaligned once in the 14 years that I recall having it. So a really good reliability. Um, quality wise is great uh, there's not really much more I can say about this big boy now I do have it about a foot above uh, you know like a tripod up uh, so you could go like a foot down but it is still a very uh, big scope um, and that's why uh, Angela's probably fainted when she saw this big guy she couldn't handle the 12 inch I guess but um, it's a good thing I I don't have my 16 inch Dobsonian Oof, I don't know what she would do. Actually, we, she could probably fit inside the tube, I'm sure. Yeah. Anyway, that's, that's another video. But anyway, guys, so this is a 12-inch LX90 uh, GPS uh, Mead Schmidt Cassegrain, and it's an F10 uh, system. And um, actually, over here, I got a 2-inch diagonal on it. I never used a regular straight-through or the right-angle finder scopes. I just have my Telrad on this guy. I did change the focuser to a Feather Touch Micro. So that gives me the dual um, speed and the Feather Touch uh, on this guy. Well, I probably got this, uh, yeah, about 14 years ago, this Feather Touch. It probably cost me about 250 back then. I think now it'd probably be closer to 350. Uh, it's worth it though, just uh, fine focusing on you know this gold knob here is just so great i know angeles wants me to show her some stuff through this that will be coming up i have a few other things i have to do first anyway joe i have a question okay what is into you to get so many telescopes like why is your your niche or your fetish or mm. or what do you feel like has to be so many telescopes well, okay, that's a good question. For me, I look at it like girls, sometimes they have like 10 purses, 20 shoes. So there's no difference. To me, I'm looking at it like I'm just getting something I like. And it's not like I do it all at once, where I think if you were getting yourself into debt, then that would be bad. You know what I mean? Usually I have like the 12 inch. I've had this guy for probably 12 to 14 years. So it's been a long time. So it's not like I get them all at the same time. Again, if you get yourself into debt over it, then that would be bad. But if I think if you do it casually, and that's okay, I just look at it like that. It kind of like, uh, uh, it just depends on your situation. If you could afford it, then okay. Uh, and if you can't afford it and you're, your rent is not getting paid, your mortgage, then that would be a bad thing. Okay. 
And why did you keep them for so long? For example, the 12 inch since I met you, I never met it before, until now. Yeah. Okay. Why? Because I don't think uh, Angela's can handle 12 inch. <laughs> I didn't want her to get scared before because then I think she would have just ran. Oh, this guy's psycho and telescopes, I'm out of here. <laughs> so I just showed this small stuff. No, no, really, I think it was because when I was at Albion and I was, uh, when I already met Angelus, I was already uh, in the process of moving in, in a few months, so I already had to put it away. Uh, so that's why. Oh, okay. You were having it before in Albion? Yes, it used to be where, uh, beside the, the patio door, in the corner, almost beside Joey. But once I started, uh, I was planning to list the place, you have to declutter, make the place look bigger. And so if I had seven or eight on the living room, like I did before, it would somebody would, it would just be too, too much, too cluttered. So I just take it down and leave one or two. Oh, I see, baby. Okay. Okay, question. Do you think that I will be able to manage to use the 12 inch things? No way. Ah? I don't think Angelus can handle 12 inch of anything. <laughs> to think of I'm not saying anything else she cannot <laughs> handle she cannot handle my 12 inch that's it end of interview I'm out okay babe so after watching the video and editing I saw that how sad you were not to have met my friend so I'm gonna introduce <laughs> you to him today okay thank you okay <laughs> okay babe so I want you to introduce introduce you to Pepe Pepe <laughs> This is Angelus, my girlfriend. This is Pepe, the 12 inch Mead SCT. Wow. Nice to meet you, Pepe. <laughs> Hello, Angelus. Nice to meet you. My name is Pepe. <laughs> Do you work, Pepe? Angelus, you look much taller on the videos. <laughs> What are you doing? Do not touch my buttons. <laughs> Angelus. <laughs> Angelus, I have a couple of cups for you. <laughs> I can't move it. Angelus, I have a couple of costumes for you. Okay, Pepe. You are a fine looking sexy girl. Have you <laughs> ever met a supercomputer telescope like me? No. <laughs> well, let me tell you about myself. I am over 12 inches thick and a focal length of 3,000 millimeters. Do you know what that means, Angelus? No. That means I am very, very long and big. <laughs> Angelus, would you like to touch my buttons? Yes. Can I? Okay. What? <laughs> Angelus? Oh. Angelus? Yeah? I have over 40,000 things in my database. Would you like me to show you Uranus? What? Jeremy, uh, what? Pepe, Pepe, calm down. I told you not to be so harsh with her. This is her first time. Calm down. Pepe, come on, eh? Joe is not to get jealous. Well, Joe, you told me she couldn't handle my club inch. I told you. <laughs> nice, eh? Okay, guys. That's our little skit. So here's Pepe, Joe Jaguar. Angeles. Out.